All right. Aiden, what are we doing in science class today? Um, so right now we're uploading some pictures to Flickr from our iPhoto. So Isn't this really dangerous? I thought Flickr was re really dangerous. Flickr's pretty cool. We got, all our, we got all our photos here, and we can shoot them right up to, uh, from iPhoto to Flickr, and it'll load them right out on for us and put us in a folder. So. Now, what pictures did you take? What was this project? Uh, they're tree photos. You can see them right here. They're kind of just, we're doing, like, observations of trees, so we got some various shots of... Some trees out behind the school. Oh, huh. now what's the, what is this class that you're in, and what grade, what level? Um, this is AP Environmental Science, and it's all seniors. Okay. Um, so did you all do this on your own time, or during class time you uh, were taking pictures? We actually just did this during class. Um, really? Wow. And then, so it's pretty quick turnaround. They let you go outside? Yeah. With a yeah. camera? Wow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty quick process. We can get them right up onto the laptop and. What's the benefit of using Flickr to do this instead of just leaving it in an iPhoto on your computer? Um, on Flickr, we can share it with other classmates and comment, and it's a pretty cool tool. Like you can, it's really interactive. Like Mr. Hill, um, our teacher, can like comment on what we do and like. Um, can you show me? Like, did you? Do you all leave notes? Um, yeah. With the notes feature. I I can, or I guess you gotta wait till you're uploading. Yeah. Right? There's basically like. Here, actually, like on one of these photos, you can make a little box with a caption. Um, so, yes. what what kinds of things are you all learning about environmental science and trees through this project? Um, this is uh, this is kind of like a little like sub project that we do. We do it three times a year. And it's just to observe like changes, um, environmental factors on different trees. Cool. Um, yeah. So, how can people find your Flickr site? Is it a, a public site that yeah, other people can go yeah, see? Yeah, Flickr.com. I'm sure. What would we, do you know what we, we'd find out from Mrs. Barr or who, the, the teacher, yeah, yeah, what Mrs. the idea is? Yeah, Mrs. Page. Yeah, I think we have a home page, which um, yeah. Mr. Hill could probably. Okay, and who, who's your teacher, so if we look for her, his or her page? Um, Mr. Hill. Chris Mr. Hill's Hill page. Our, yeah. Okay. But Mrs. Barr could probably help with that as well, like, if you're a teacher. All right. Be, I mean, I'm sure it'd be right off of his uh, teacher page, because we, I mean, since we have laptops, they set up, like, teacher pages and everything, so right. we can access, like, homework online and links all the so. so there's a lot of schools that are very fearful of Flickr, and a lot of people that are fearful to say, oh my gosh, it'll be terrible, because the kids will, you know, access objectionable stuff. Yeah. What what happens here with Open Flickr? Is it... I mean, it's is the it... same thing with any other website. Yeah, but, but I, know, I know what you mean, but yeah, there really hasn't been any trouble with that. I mean, we only go on it. I don't, I, no one else really uses Flickr that I know of, other than for this. I don't know. It's really good just for you taking notes and for comments. I mean, it's sort of like a Google Docs, the fact that we can all work on with it together. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>